Hello, welcome back to this uh, video tutorial on SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. As you can see on the screen, uh, this uh, flow simulation study has been completed. So once it's completed, you should be able to see the word solver is finished. Okay, right uh, below this solver window. Okay, so well, so if you're happy with this, okay, let us close this solver window. Okay, so now we are back in the SOLIDWORKS environment. So let's see how we can create different plots um, uh, that, uh, that we can uh, get from the solver. So let's start off by maybe taking a look at certain cut plots. Okay, so sometimes you may want to uh, just study some of the uh, flow behavior uh, at a certain cross-section of your design. So all we need to do is right-click on cut plots and go to insert. And down here, you're able to specify which plane uh, you would like to create the cross-section on. Okay, and uh, we should be able to also specify through the view settings button, okay, whether we want a pressure reading, we want a temperature reading, or we want velocity. Okay, so for this case, I would like to see what is the pressure around my space shuttle uh, at the, that cuts through the middle of the space shuttle. Okay, so once I'm done, I hit apply and hit OK. And there you go. This is the pressure reading across the cross section of the space shuttle. So, yeah, and you can always cross compare the different colors you see on screen okay, to the legend that you see here. Okay, so uh, let's hide this plot. Okay, and on top of that, okay, we are also able to uh, plot a surface plot as well. Sometimes you may want to uh, probe certain points on the space shuttle okay, where you, know, you want to take the readings of the, s uh, um, of the faces of the space shuttle. So to do that, all we need to do is we go to insert a surface plot okay, and we will specify the faces that we want to import uh, the, these plots on. Okay, so here, I specify all these faces here. Okay, let's also insert the tangent faces on top Okay, and on the two side wings. Okay, so if I'm done with this, okay, all I need to do is just hit OK. There you go. This is the pressure plot on the surface of the space shuttle. So once again, based on the different colors, okay, you can see that this region here is actually the high pressure region. Okay, let me just hide this plot. Now sometimes uh, when you are in, in a flow analysis, you want to find out uh, how the flow is like around this space shuttle. So you may want to look for areas of turbulence uh, and uh, you know, so that you can make uh, changes to your design. So we can call out flow trajectories okay, just by right clicking on the fl uh, flow trajectory folder and click on insert. Okay, so down here, let's say I would like uh, 50 trajectories and I want to display them as lines with arrows. Okay, so after that, all we need to do is I just specify the faces that we want to apply this on. Okay, so if you are okay with this, just hit okay. And the software will compute the trajectory flow lines for you. Okay, and you can uh, just look through the whole model to see how the flow goes around the space shuttle. And if you would like to see an animation of this, all you need to do is right click on the flow trajectory and click on animate. And you should be able to see how the flow goes around the space shuttle. Yeah, so for this one, this is a pressure plot. Sometimes, maybe, maybe for this flow trajectory, you like to uh, view the, the velocity. So all we need to do is just go back to the flow trajectory and edit the definitions. So we go to view settings. Instead of pressure, I would like to view velocity. So I click on velocity here. There you go. Okay, you can see the velocity of uh, air now that uh, goes around the space shuttle. And of course, you can view uh, an animation of the flow as well.
Okay. So now, so now we have already run through with you how to plot cut plots, uh, surface plots, and flow trajectories. Now earlier on in the first part of the video tutorial, okay, we have covered how to set different goals for the, uh, you know, to 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 get the software to tell us what is the lift and the drag of the space shuttle. Okay, so how do we call out all these values here? So to call out all these values, on the command manager, there is a button called goals. So in this command, what we do is we will generate goals plot. Uh, the different goal plots uh, in, in in Excel format. So we just select the different plots that we want to add, okay, and hit OK. So to see the results, okay, make sure you have Microsoft Excel installed in your computer. Okay, there you go. So down here, so the Y component of force, okay, this is the lift. Alright, so the average value is so much, okay, 14,000 uh, newtons, and for the drag, it is so much, it is about 11,600 newtons. Okay, so these are actually values that you can use uh, to qualitative, uh, qualitatively uh, check you know, the uh, aerodynamics of, of, of different designs. So, yeah, that's about it. Okay, thank you for taking time to view this flow simulation tutorial.